this morning. Thank you very much, Senator Kerr. Let me come before you. I've heard it, Senator Prescott, to have you reply this morning. Certainly. Having said that, Senator Stiles has a question for you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for coming in today to present this and working with the town clerks. I know you've put a lot of effort into this bill. I just want to make sure I'm clear and understanding that <clears throat> uh, as of January 1st, 2016, mm -hmm. you must have an ID with you in order to vote. Is that correct? The same process would, would uh, continue. Yes, you would be asked for a photo identification. <coughs> if you don't have it, the same process would continue. You would then say, do you know, does, does a clerk identify you? Does the, does the moderator identify you? If that doesn't happen, then you would fill out a uh, challenge voter affidavit and still vote. Uh, you would be offered a voucher. You would have a photo identification given to you um, at a later date. And, or you would, um, then, then in the future, it would be a picture taken uh, when technology is available to do that at a low enough cost for the people in New Hampshire to afford, there would be a photo identification photo taken and printed onto the challenge voter affidavit <coughs> at a future date. So I would understand you to say then that you would never refuse to vote if you forget to bring a photo uh, That is correct. That is correct. <coughs> and one are you aware this morning that in your local newspaper that the editorial, uh, while they did not support voter ID, they did in respect to your uh, bill coming forward? Terrific. That's good news. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyone else have any questions for Senator Prescott? Senator Prescott, uh, thank you for your testimony. Quick question for you. In the amendment under uh, Section 2, when you talk about a driver's license issued by the state of New Hampshire, and you amended it to read regardless of expiration date, and you did the same thing with the passport, what was your thinking behind that? The uh, person may, when they uh, decide to stop driving, you know, uh, Senator Barnes, uh, you know, to drive from Raven to Concord every day, could get a taxi and may not want to drive that every single day. And he may decide to no longer have a driver's license. So that happens to Senator Bounce will ride a bicycle. And in that case, uh, it would be an expired driver's license. However, it, would, it is valid for voter identification purposes. Certainly, go right ahead, Senator. Um, and because the verification has already been done at the checklist, it, it, that's not going to be an issue. The verification of, of, of the person living where they say they're going to live, or where they live. Verification done at registration. So therefore, it's not a problem. There are a tremendous amount of scenarios that could be thought of about what is a valid ID. Uh, however. We're, we want to make a verification of the person's photo with their name, and that is the photo identification uh, bill that I've tried to put together. Senator, I think uh, the committee is, uh, this time, uh, is all set for two. Thank you. I don't have a question, but I just want to applaud your reference to Senator Prescott. Uh, 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 Thank you very much for allowing me to speak one more time because it brought another issue that I'd like to bring before the committee. Um, if there is uh, a move afoot by the committee or someone else to uh, add more to this bill, I can try to, to formulate this bill as the uh, basis for a, a simple photo identification, name and picture. Because we are talking about people that have already have proven their domicile and they've registered to vote, they're just coming before the checklist. And that's all this bill does, is just verify by a photo ID that they look like the person on the photo ID and it matches their name. If there's a move afoot to expand that, I would ask that you do that on another bill. This bill could stand on its own in another bill 
good address, registration, verification of address, domicile. Whereas if we try to bring all things onto one piece of paper, it may become something that is not acceptable and we want to make this a, a, a bill that stands on the pictures it's okay. and a name. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Appreciate your coming in and telling us about your piece of legislation. My pleasure. Uh, the next person. Crop TV.